time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. All right, we are continuing our 49ers roster countdown with number 71, wide receiver Keyshawn Johnson, who, man, it... His career took off in college, breaking a lot of records as Fresno State. But his limited athletic profile has kind of forced his career to stall a little bit. Um, we have him number 71 for a few reasons. One, there's a legit chance, to, chance that he makes the roster as that six wide receiver. The 49ers have a, a great top five wide receiver depth chart. The number six spot's completely up for grabs. And so... When we did our rankings, and again, our entire philosophy or kind of understanding here is who has the biggest impact on the 49ers in the 2022 season. That's it. Just this year. That's why Keyshawn Johnson's number 71, because he could actually make the 53-man roster. His jersey number is 13, six foot one, 200 pounds. He's 25 years old. He came into the, the, the NFL really young. This is his fourth season. He's only 25. Now, he's got a... <laughs> He's got like the exact same career trajectory as Devontae Adams, but it took a big turn. Um, he went to Palo Alto High School, you know, just 12 miles from Levi Stadium, the Fighting Vikings, and was awesome there. And then he went to Fresno State, just like Devontae Adams. The th what, what's crazy is, you know, how we get this list, me and the producers and so Josh and Anthony, you know, we ranked these players 1 through 90, and then we did like a composite list of all the lists together, and that gave us the number. So this isn't just mine. This is uh, our producers as well. And somehow we got three straight Fresno State Bulldogs on the list in a row, which is awesome. You know, Kevin Atkins, Josh Hokett, and now we've got Keyshawn Johnson. We didn't do that on purpose, but local guys usually make the back end of the roster. It's cheaper. They can stay at home. They have friends and family there, so it makes sense why they, you know, join the 49ers over other teams. Now, Again, Devontae Adams went from Palo Alto to Fresno State to the NFL. Keyshawn Johnson did the exact same thing. And when Keyshawn Johnson redshirted his freshman year, then he went on to break every single record ever for Fresno State. The production is unreal. Career, career leader in receptions, 275 receptions. Yards, 3,463 yards. First uh, in touchdowns as well. Like he dominated all of their record books. Now, the problem is his athletic profile. He's got the same body and production as Devontae Adams. Athletically, there's a lot left to be wanting. And so, you know, he's not a guy that's ever won with speed. And whenever you look at what he did at the Combine, it, to say it was bad would be an understatement. He's he just got a bad athletic profile. Um, every performance metric is in the bottom 50% of NFL wide receivers. And, you know, his vertical, 30 inches. Broad, 40-yard dash, 4.6. Three-cone, 7.28. All in the bottom 25% of NFL wide receivers. So he's got the exact body and production of Devontae Adams, but the athleticism of Rashard Higgins. Now, that doesn't mean he cannot be an NFL wide receiver. Clearly, he could. He stepped in as a rookie and contributed uh, for the Cardinals, who drafted him in the sixth round, pick number 174 overall. And his first touchdown was against the 49ers. You know, he came in as a rookie, started four games, had 21 receptions, 187 yards, uh, and one touchdown. The following year, only one start, 15 catches, 173 yards, no touchdowns. Then he was with Philly last year. Now he's with the 49ers. And... <sighs> He's got something. There's, there's no, you know, I start looking at what, okay, what, what is it that, dude, led NCAA freaking records. I mean, he was putting up all of this, you know, great numbers at Fresno State. What happened? Well, contested catches, he's great at. Jump balls, and probably his best trait is kind of the, once the ball is in the air, whether it's positioning, contorting his body, all these different, you know, whatever, you can't really measure those things. But, like, he's going to do whatever it is to get the ball once it's in the air. But he's a contested catch guy. He's not a separation guy. Um, you know, I, I have this written in my notes on him. He has the size and build of an outside wide receiver, but he plays like a slot guy, except he's not shifty. And so he's this tweener without top-tier speed, without shiftiness, but he is a good player. So... He's somebody that, you know, if you're looking for separation and throwing to open wide receivers, guess what? Keyshawn Johnson ain't it. 
if you're looking for contested catches and a larger body with lack in speed, right? What makes an outside wide receiver? In Kyle Shanahan's words, an outside wide receiver is somebody that, can, that imposes a threat to take the top off and push the defense deep. I don't think he has that with his speed. And so he's a guy that just needs lots of pass targets, even though he's covered. It's not a Shanahan thing. Now, the production's there. Um, the experience is there. I could I could honestly very easily see him being the number six wide receiver. But at the same time, it's not something I want to bet on. Uh, there's, there's a myriad of guys, probably four to five guys fighting for that. And whoever doesn't get it, they're going to be on the outside looking in. So with Keyshawn Johnson, I don't even think he's going to be a practice squad guy. I think that he's going to either make the 53 or... Or he's going to be on the street somewhere else. Now, if some injuries take place, because, again, how do the 49ers use their practice squad? They get 16. Ten of them vets. Um, ten of them can be vets. Not that ten have to be. But every team gets 16 practice squad spots. There's a lot of younger wide receivers with a lot more potential that I think those spots will be reserved for. Now, if you're looking for somebody just to come in and not mess up and somebody you can trust, that's why I have Keyshawn John Johnson higher than a lot of those guys like Taysier Mack, uh, Tay Martin, those guys. Their potential's much higher than Keyshawn Johnson. But if you need somebody right now to step in and give you 10 to 15 snaps and not mess up, it's going to be Keyshawn Johnson. So that's why I have him ranked higher for this year, even though a lot of those other players, I think they have a better shot at making the practice squad. I do not see Keyshawn Johnson making the practice squad. It's 53 or bust. And even if he does make the 53, I don't see that as a – he's going to be on there for the year. It's it's he's here, and you've got these younger guys that are lower than him that eventually will surpass him because his ceiling is so severely limited. But he has a high floor because he's got experience. He's been in the NFL several teams, and he could step in right now. So I have Keyshawn Johnson ahead of those guys now for this year. Long term, I just don't see it. I think he's going to be a journeyman probably in and out of the NFL in the next two years. But that doesn't mean he doesn't provide value for the 49ers this year. And that's why he's number 71.